Ho, 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 friends. Time for the Green Family Holiday Decor Rating. And I'm um, starting off by, um, I'm about to clean off this TV stand. And, Not including the TV. Well, maybe that too. And, and just get everything nice and clean. Make the TV and have a clean kind of slate to work with. This is a lovely display that I love very much, but I'm probably going to cover that up to make a nice clean palette for decorating. So that's the first step. Okay, so step one is completed. We completely dusted off where the TV goes. It's at that angle because we like to eat at our dining table and, and watch TV. I know we're really lowbrow, whatever. So um, this looks really nice, this black background. And the only thing is, I think I'm gonna cover up the stuff on the top because even though I love Star Wars, um, I don't want any distractions from the actual stars, which is what um, I'm gonna put all star ornaments on this black background. So let me cover up that stuff and get out my star ornaments. Whee! Okay, getting close to being ready to actually put up some Christmas stuff, but still little things like I want to get a caddy to organize this stuff over here because this is a nice little junk corner that has collected with chargers, tablet, all kinds of stuff. Um, I also still need to dust the second shelf underneath the TV and Hub is going to go through those items that were in the corner. But I ever so skillfully uh, put push pins into cardboard boxes to hang that white curtain since this is a temporary installation. And I happen to have a maroon fitted sheet, I mean a uh, flat sheet that I put on the top that I'm going to probably try and hide with uh, some garlands and things. So it's looking like this is a much more pleasant palette. And let me just do those last things and then I can get started with the stars. All right. So I have my eye on this organizer. It's the size that I like. But this one above it is also very interesting because it has um, the height. So like my daughter's tablet, we could put it in there and not have to see it. But it's not as wide. I think, I think I'm going to go for this one because I can put the tablet and then the chargers as well. And it'll still, oh, I don't know. You put them side by side. Hmm. I really like both of them. Then there's something completely different, which is what we already have. I just don't have an extra one in this size. And that's pretty simple. And that's pretty effective and also strong. Oh, and it's also cheaper. Guess which one I'm gonna get? <laughs> okay, so finally, after a few more days of not being able to, to do this, I'm getting to this star garlands. And yes, you can see that there are hearts on the back of this black background, but the stars are probably going to obliterate it. I have a bunch of these star garlands and I would just want to see like lines of stars coming down. Um, and I think that would be a nice like juxtaposition of that shape of the cone shape of the tree. So you've got the cone shape and you've got this rectangle with, um, with vertical lines coming down. Okay, I'm going to get started. Okay, so 
I managed to space them out pretty evenly. I had like four garlands that I had to figure out how best to space them in the space allowed. Now I am allowing some of them to drip down because there's going to be um, a line of gold and silver sparkly ornaments on the bottom, which will be fun. Um, but I still want to put my stars. I have a bunch of cool star ornaments that I got from Germany all the way back in 2010. And I love to feature these ornaments. All right. So those are my German stars. And I have more German ornaments that I'm going to put over by our little advent area. But um, this is looking pretty nice, I think. The only thing I'm going to add, because one of the stars has a really fun uh, snow top. And I have a bunch of icicle ornaments. So I'm going to add some icicle ornaments. And I think that's probably the last thing I'm going to add. Uh-oh, friends. Uh-oh. I found these big paper stars. Yes, I did. And I decided to put them on because this was always supposed to be just a fun thing about stars and you can see my icicles they add a little bit but um now I'm going to continue the fun underneath and make a gold and silver ornament display that will fill in that white space that's between the TV and those upper shelves okay so I, my goal is accomplished. Now, some of my more like conservative high school friends say would probably have stopped at the black sheet. <laughs> and some others might have stopped at the star garlands. And yet others would have stopped with the German stars. But they are not me, the crazy creative artist. So I kept adding and adding and adding. And here is my bottom row that I added to. So we've got um, Believe over here next to the stocking that my mom sewed for me from a pattern for in the 1980s. We've got a beautiful ballerina and a chandelier sort of representative of maybe the Nutcracker. We've got a bell, always beautiful Christmas imagery. And we've got a uh, donkey. And we've got, this was tricky to hang. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself, but um, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is little baby Jesus in a manger. And they came as two separate ornaments. Oh dear, what did I just do? <laughs> They're so glittery. It's hard to pick up how glittery they are on the camera. But anyways, um, this is also sort of a remembrance to my dear sister. One of her, um, one of our very good family friends sent this to me um, since she passed the day after Thanksgiving. And her birthday was December 3rd. This time of year, I always think about her. And so this cross is, is very um, important to, to me when I think about like where my sister is now. And there's Mother Mary and a token wise man. I don't know if this even came with the whole set. This was a 99 cent store find um, several years ago. This angel, also very dear to me, was sent um, from a dear friend right after my sister passed. Um, another bell. An angel, now it might be hard to, to pick it up, but this angel is playing the violin. And music is something really, really important to our family. And um, a dear friend gave us these ornaments. So backing up for full effect, we've got the stars, the row underneath with the sort of Christmas story belief factor. I've got my YouTube lo-fi, which I love. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, my dad actually got me. No, I got that angel. And the star 
canisters. I got those in Germany as well. And um, let me just tell you, the German dollar stores have different imports than the American dollar stores. <laughs> they're all imports, but they're just different. So it's a fun variety. And the Christmas tree is that same cracked mirror design as the, the bells. Um, I embroidered my son's name on that stocking that my mom got for me um, to, I think, one year. My mom just loves to send stockings in the mail. And that's a whole other ball of wax, which I'm about to do in a minute. But um, I embroidered my husband's name on his stocking, a strong moose, I guess. And, I, and last year, I finally found the time to embroider my sweet daughter's name on her stocking. So there's sort of our mantle since we don't have a fireplace. On Christmas, I like to put the fireplace channel and um, then it's like our stockings are hung by a real chimney. Mm -hmm. 